Grace is afraid for her life. She says the military might be after her because she was there when a group of soldiers killed her father's friend. It was her father they came for, suspecting him of being a communist rebel. But when they didn't find him, they took his friend instead. They beat him inside our house and then took him outside and shot him. Once in the head, in the neck, and then in the chest. They were laughing when they left. There are communist insurgents in Grace's home province, and the military has been fighting them for decades. Anyone suspected of being a communist sympathizer isn't treated kindly, and many civilians say they live in fear of being terrorized by the military. When President Benigno Aquino III took office a year ago, he promised to put an end to human rights violations by men in uniform. But there have been as yet no notable convictions of military officers for such violations, and the reports of abuse continue. Nothing is swept under the rug. They're all investigated and we're warranted, charges are filed. No, but at the, at the same time, uh, we recognize also that the security forces are so vulnerable to getting uh, frivolous suits. No? But there is nothing frivolous about Grace's accusation. She says she's not the only one who's scared and worries that justice will never be done. Every time my mom and my siblings see the military, they're afraid because soldiers do bad things. They kill people. They've always tortured civilians, and it's still the same. The darkness has given Grace the courage to break her silence and hope others will do the same. She says it's only by speaking out and continuing to demand justice that a long history of violence and abuse can finally be stopped. Margot Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Manila.